we often get a lot of questions on damsels because they have a terrible reputation for being highly aggressive. Now the vast majority of damsel species do get quite large and are quite highly aggressive, but there are half a dozen or so species which stay small and are pretty well behaved as long as they're kept in a large group. And that is the key thing, they have to be in a group of 10 or more. Um, the males on damsels can be quite territorial and if you haven't got enough males, one male will try and claim all the tank and terrorise other animals within it. If you've got multiple males, the males are kept busy with their little squabbles and bickerings amongst each other and leave everything else alone, leading to quite a calm, peaceful aquarium. The dams are a great addition for a home aquarium because although they need to be kept in large numbers, their body mass is very small and the amount of food and waste they produce is also very small. So a group of 10 small damsels will only have about the same body mass and food requirement as say a 2-3 to three inch angelfish or tank. Of the species that are safe to put in a reef aquarium, we will stick with either the azure damsel, a yellowtail blue damsel, a nazi's damsel, Tolbert's damsel, Rolandi damsel, or similar very small 1 inch species. They're most of the Chrysotera family are safe to put in, but the larger members can be a little bit more aggressive, so caution needs to be exercised there. So they're best kept in a group of 10 plus, and many people keep 20 or 30 if the aquarium's large enough. They can all be of the same species, or they can be a mix of species. So, for example, you might have five yellowtail blue damsels and five azure damsels, say, or two each of five different types. It doesn't matter too much as long as you've got 10 or more in total, so there's enough males to spread it all around. If possible, while getting your damsels, try and pick some of the larger ones and some of the smaller ones, as the smaller ones are usually more likely to be female and the larger ones are more likely to be male. So you don't end up with all males or all females by picking out only the biggest or only the smallest group. They make an excellent addition to the roof aquarium, adding a lot of colour and movement, are fairly inexpensive, are reasonably hardy, will often take flake readily and uh, we'll even eat little bits of algae. In the case of Springer's damsels, they'll also pick off flatworms and maybe some other pests too. Make sure you check out our other videos on other handy reef keeping tips.